Once again, welcome to Princess Diana's um, latest message on peace in the Middle East and her anniversary message. Uh, this is um, August or August 31st, uh, 2024, and it will have been 27 years since her tragic passing. And we can all remember what we were doing that day and how emotional it was for everyone. So just know that Diana is fine in the afterlife. And she sends her divine essence of her rose of healing and love to everyone on this call and everyone in the world. For she is indeed a, a master working with Master Mother Mary and Master Mary Magdalene and Jesus for the betterment of mankind. And she has some very special details of her life and afterlife that she will reveal only here. So you're in for an, an interesting ride today as I bring forth Princess Diana. And thank you for being here. And Diana says, good evening, darling. It is once again remarkable to experience your channeling with me over the years. I am impressed with your dedication to my efforts for peace and your fervent desire to educate people about my contributions to the world on behalf of peace. Since I've crossed over, um, I've increased the love vibration for each one of you and for the world. For the world has increased in darkness, and I oversee a great deal on this side, um, both on the earth plane and the children's orphanage that we call the Diaper Ranch. And I have been aware of the suffering in these wars, and I am still doing something about it. For I will never rest until all the wars have stopped and the children are provided for. And I have channeled through diplomatic solutions for peace through Marsha's words to important people of influence in various administrations. And I would uh, would appreciate um, your passing the word around a little bit. I send on my rows of healing this evening or this afternoon, for my crown is indeed shining brightly from the heavens. Out, and I send out personal blessings of thanks to each one of you that is attending this memorial service in my name, Diana. For when I experienced the tragedy of the accident, I did indeed rise up through the ascension quite quickly, as Rose Campbell has documented so keenly in her book, The Prince and, Princess and the Peon by Rose Campbell. She was another lady I worked with for a while. And I welcome all of those that came in and please make sure that you're muted. 
Um, I'd like as well to highlight your fine work for peace today and mention your books with love from Diana, Queen of Hearts, and um, the earlier book, Princess Diana's Message of Peace. You were hardworking through the projects as I sent you my words on to very important diplomats and presidents who took them seriously, and even senators who invited you to speak to the Congress. So this is not widely known, and Narsha does not brag about herself or her accomplishments, but I, she did a good deal of intelligence work. So I just wanted to share my old book. If you haven't read it, it's a collectible item now, and it was published in 203, and that's one of my first portraits of Diana. And um, so it's called Princess Diana's Message of Peace, and you can read more of the reviews on Amazon or my site, Princess Diana speaks or diana speaks to the world and then this is the other book that maybe some of you have with love from diana queen of hearts and she talks about her heavenly experiences there and also um where she resides what she does with her time and being in the seventh dimension of the ascended masters and how she works with mother Teresa, mother mary and mary magdalene bringing forth the divine feminine um, essence and trying to help the world from where she stands now. So this is all about diplomatic help. And I admit that they aren't as riveting as maybe the Mary Magdalene books, but they are quite important for what can be more important than world peace right now as we stand on this precipice of, you know, just a holding pattern in the Middle East. And we need to hold that prayer out for peace. So back to Diana then. Um, as Princess Diana, from my vantage point now, I work for the good of all. I use advanced computers to see possible outcomes, and I have foreseen the future of peace in the Middle East, where there is a Palestinian state, where there is a state of Israel and a state of Lebanon, and the different countries surrounding Israel can live in peace if she will give up her tendency to want to encapsulate the entire Gaza in barbed wire and make it a terrorist compound. For too long, the Palestinians have suffered a great deal under occupation, and it is only right that they forge out a peace plan, which I have outlined in Marsha's numerous books, so that they live, can live side by side. We see too many children crossing over daily as a result of these wars. I assure you that I do work with Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene in this quest for peace. I am the consolation of the children and their continued passing to spirit as well as Mother Teresa. And we hold and cuddle the children as they cross over. We make sure of their education. I do live in an English castle, Tudor style, with Dodie, Bayad, and we have added an addition to our castle, a children's wing to our lovely estate where we have orphans living because there isn't enough room at the other orphanage in town. They are attending piano lessons as well and they are being read to at night. And I have a lovely illustration of Diana reading to children that was done by James Murray and he couldn't attend, but I'm going to share it later. That is not to say that as Ascended Masters, we can wave a magic wand and that it doesn't work that way on the earth plane. We can influence the thoughts of leaders, but we can't wave a magic wand. And there is in humanity, unfortunately, a tendency toward hate and revenge and these lower emotions. But we can identify, can't identify with lower emotions. We are very much in a place of mutual love, understanding for all parties concerned. Yet we see the victims of the war, the innocent children and perfectly innocent teenagers at, at, um, who were enjoying a concert in Israel. It was wrong to have attacked them so brutally. I want to assure you that I don't, don't take sides. Yet we see many women now um, passing on to spirit and they are young and young children as well. I am here as an ascended master always to protect and to serve. I continue my mission from the higher realms and I do work with Dodie who had proposed to me that evening of the 31st that 
evening of my tragic death. I was really unprepared to go, but I had been aware that I was developing spiritually and my qualities of continued love and service to humanity that last year or two of my work. And I want to say that I would have continued to fight for the rights of human beings everywhere to live in peace had I stayed on the earth plane. But I was instead called extension. And I would continue to speak out um, against war, whether it would be popular with the media or the royal family or anyone for that matter. There were darker forces in England that wanted me gone. And that is all I'll say about the accident. But it was no accident. It was murder. I predict there will be a revelation, a time when William and Catherine will definitely find out. And they will honor me by moving my grave to the Westminster Abbey how we feel in time, that would be more than appropriate. But as for now, I'm content to rest on the Oval Island, and should you ever have the chance to visit my grave, Marcia has painted that one too, it's quite remarkable, and it is, that is my resting place. It has been some 27 years since my crossing, and I want to assure you all that I am here for you as an ascended master, alongside Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene and Jeshua. And we work together uh, as a force that cannot be defeated. Are the emerging divine feminine on the planet right now and led the way in our lifetimes, stepping into landmines and stepping into crucifixion scenes we, where we felt the hopelessness of being female. But now we embrace the female as the power that will lead the planet back to peace. So it is that we pray for peace today and I hold out my rose of love and healing, for I am ever Diana, England's rose and princess of peace. All my love in the time, Diana. So I'm gonna hold out her rose for you and you can just experience the rose energy of Diana. And uh, these are fresh from my garden. Of course, they always bloom when I have a master that I'm about to channel, so that's nice. The nature spirits always collaborate. So just feel that loving rose energy of Diana and Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene envelop you in safety, in love, in the kindness of the feminine, and in the prayers for your own personal healings and your own personal development and whatever you're struggling with or designing in your mind today for the greater good just know that these ascended masters are powerful and they can work with you for your next step, whatever that may be. Whether it be healing or a book or some sort of revelation, it's all there for you, but you have only to call and they'll come. She said um, in her speech, when she gave her uh, leaving public duty speech in 1990, she said, um, I, I want to be Diana, queen of people, people's hearts. Um, just call on me and I'll come in an instant. And when she said that, she was predicting her role as an ambassador in the afterlife. Unfortunately, she knew even then she predicted it. So she was quite a powerful woman and I feel her energy now. So if you feel her energy, just raise your hand. Let me know if you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. I asked her to come clear through for me. Sometimes I do spontaneous channelings of Diana, but um, we'll just stay in that beautiful energy. It's very silken. It feels like one of her silk gowns when you contact Diana. And um, she's saying in general that she would like to work with some of you in this group today on um, something about a collaboration or joint message or something. So if that feels like she's tapping at you on your shoulder, just let me know later. So just absorb that rose energy for your healing and for all intentions, for all your family members and uh, yourself, any healing that you personally need. And then staying in that rose energy, we're going to move on to Mother Mary's uh, message for peace for the world. And... Um, this is um, 
less detailed and more general as Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene step in, recalling in the rose energy of Divine Mother Mary. Divine Mary Magdalene into the circle of light. My dear friends, I do greet you with love and with peace. This is your mother, Mother Mary. And where she's saying, we do see that there will be in coming days upheavals of all kinds. And want, we want you to remain very strong and very connected to one another and your soul groups, such as this group here. Um, there are important reasons why Marsha is leading this group, and there will be much more up-leveling and core values and core belief systems will become channeled, channeling, not channeled, but challenged. And so it is that with the outer chaos of various things coming up to be cleansed uh, in America and in other places in the world, it will be distressing. And I am here always as your divine mother to help you through any um, challenging experience or something that challenges your personal core belief. I am seeing an image of you, Mary, standing above the fray with Mary Magdalene, arms outstretched, enveloping the Middle East and Russia and Ukraine in the peace. And that is your intention. Is your sacred heart and Mary Magdalene's sacred heart there? Yes, it, you're saying things correctly. We hold all of these areas in a loving embrace of the sisterhood and the brotherhood around the world because there is a higher dimension of light working with all the troubled areas of the world. And yes, my son, Jesus, of course. So we send out the rows of peace all over the Middle East and imagine a large vibrating circle counterclockwise. You might call it the Merkaba. You might just call it a labyrinth, but we have this divine feminine circle encircling the Middle East and holding it in peace. Let no nation touch that button and let no nation start a war. For we all know that ships and planes and bombs are poised at the command of any of the world leaders and we ask that you send light to all of the countries and all of the people who don't want war upon their heads rose of peace let me send it to your hearts first for you cannot give what you do not have so let mary magdalene and mother mary send their rose to your heart for your healing for your request whatever it is say it to yourself what it is, what it is that you want to heal from Maybe there are multiple things that you need healing from, whatever it is, whatever the need. And take a deep breath and then imagine that labyrinth of love encircling the Middle East and all people kind of walking a greater degree, the divine feminine heart path of love, of divine love igniting and in various religions and various cultures so that the, all the cultures can further understand one another and less separation, hatred, and more. Um, so every person that is suffering in that area or suffering in this circle is in need of our prayers today. We, we know, Mother Mary says, that this world will transform into one of truly which is on the horizon of the new earth, but much help is still needed for the transformation to take place. And there will be much more need for like-minded individuals to band together in groups to forge peace and love and unity consciousness. And there will be fewer and fewer wars in the future, burdensome wars to humanity. But we must all work for this, for even your archangels and ascended masters and Jesus himself is working for the planet to bring it into the love vibration. And you are all working with, with this group, with the enlightenment. So we ask, that you as the enlightenment embodies more so in your hearts and minds, you spread out your aura from your heart into those areas where your heart is led to, whether it be Ukraine or Russia, or the Middle East, or further on northward Belarus, Lithuania, 
and many countries that are affected by war, Poland, and any other personal requests will be met. And my rose of love is being sent out to all your listeners right now for edification and for love, the universal divine motherly love. For I am Mary, stand for the rose, and we stand up for you, and we stand for enlightenment, and we stand for the end of war. And so, if you have any comments or questions, you may pose those now, and then we will proceed to prayer and Reiki requests. Just enjoy the rose energy and um, relax in peace. Thank all of you listeners that we're listening online on YouTube. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share the station. And uh, we're going. To